Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome to a very interesting first video for me. So, it is not about um, <laughs> doing tutorials or taking this game too seriously. It's more like a uh, take a look, a review kind of thing. So, let's take a look at Mario Kart Tour. Uh, the game just launched about a few hours ago. The time on my um, phone right now is not accurate it's actually 5 49 p.m uh it, it kind of gets well i would say wonky <laughs> when i plug it to my computer to do streaming so yeah so uh first thing first i would say the game isn't exactly handling very smoothly uh and the interface looks kind of cheap like um, it, it feels like a knockoff game uh, and it wasn't really produced by uh, Nintendo which is kind of sad so <laughs> all right so we're going to turn up the volume and of course gyro handling still no 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 that's not going to help us at all so yeah, you have to link your Nintendo account to this game. If not, they will probably ask you to create an account. Now, of course, being a mobile game, there is gacha involved. So if you're the kind that dislikes pay to win games, I guess this is one of them. But it's Mario Kart. Anything can happen uh, if it's pretty much as close to its uh, console counterpart of the game. Yeah, so even though if you pay to have like super strong characters or maybe cards with abilities like um, they do allow you to purchase cards, Slipstream Plus, so yeah, you can power up your skills and all this. I don't have enough coins, as you can see at the top, I only have like 134. Um, and the game hasn't really been out for that long, so everyone's pretty much around the same standard unless you've been gaming non-stop since its official release um, after its maintenance and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, so let's take a look at the shop first. As you can tell, they do have like special offers as usual for mobile games, then there's a pass. So I guess you can pay monthly subscription. Yeah, you get extra benefits as usual. So they'll show you like the stuff you can actually get and badges from gold challenges, unlock 200 CC races. So yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer if you are the kind that plays mobile games for free. Um, yeah. So what is this? Item ticket, you can use once per race to spin your item. Oh, no, 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 no. That is, that is a really smart marketing strategy. So like I said, the interface feels very cheap. And I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like a Nintendo standard. <laughs> All right, so uh, Davy Daisy bubble, kick back and relax as this bubble floats you around. But beware the sudden... Hmm. Get three items per item box. Wow. Daisy heals. Okay. So yeah, you have to actually use characters that favor the courses if you want to get more score, which allows you to like get that five star rating that you probably want. So I we're gonna play one course. I'm gonna show you guys how this game handles. As you can see, Toadette is the preferred character so she is able to get that three item uh, slot and of course we're gonna use this choo choo train cart by hair um, if you're wondering what does the train cart do it actually gives you better score when you successfully do a start dash boost so if you guys have not played Mario Kart before um, you probably should go and learn up the game in fact the game actually teaches you how to do a start dash um, once you clear the mario leap so that's pretty nice of them there we go we're getting scores accordingly to our setup here we go start dash 
Okay, so the problem I face with this game is the normal turning of left and right is not exactly <laughs> very um, responsive. Then of course, since I'm using the manual control, I am swiping my finger left and right. Um, Alright, here we go. So let's use the, the items. The Japanese player in front of me. Oh. Okay, so there we go. Ow. So same as the standard console game, the coins uh, will help you with oh no what is going on. So in order to use the items backwards you have to swipe the string the screen backwards. So especially with items that let you use backwards like the banana. And of course, they also allow you to toss it front. Uh, okay, so jumping. Jumping when you're using ramps also helps you boost. Same as the console game. And of course, drifting left and right will increase your boost. So we're going to do a long drift into the corner. So as you can tell, I play Mario Kart quite a bit on the console. So yeah, so the only problem I have with this game so far is that its interface looks really bad. Um, the music is nothing fantastic like its uh, console counterparts. And of course, the standard turning controls because as as long as you swipe your finger across the screen left or right, it puts you into a drift straight away. So the only way you can turn normally um, is to uh, how you say swipe the screen in the direction you want to turn quickly, lift off from the screen. Then it'll, it'll put you into that like jump turn thing, style of format. So yeah, so I hope Nintendo fixes this i don't know maybe if they don't find it as a issue eventually people will get used to it as you can tell i'm i'm still getting first place quite easily so i don't know maybe because everyone else is struggling with the controls <laughs> but that's what i can tell so we're gonna do a second race and we're gonna see how things goes again the world is fantastic, it's exactly like the console. Alright, here we go. Someone's got crazy taxi. So, yeah. I'm going to change drift direction. Oh, come on. Oh no. So yeah, the good thing about this game is you don't really fall off the cliffs. But you keep banging the walls, especially if you don't have the correct drift. So yeah, so th there are a lot of gamers out there who don't really use Drift in the Mario Kart series, especially for first timers. Uh, whenever I play with my friends, they end up not drifting. So uh, yeah, I guess people who have never been drifting through the console games will probably have issues playing this game as well. Because your, um, I would say, control for these needs to be precise. Oh my goodness, what was that? <laughs> Alright, here we go. The finishing line is just here, but we still have one more lap. So the game is pretty short. It's, it's two laps per map. Come on, turn. Right, the bats will hinder you just like the normal console game. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on, turn sharper. Oh, goodness gracious me. Come on, come on. Let's get that first place. Whee. So there are three opponents in front of me cut 
through what? You, you can aim me in mid air? Holy crap! Bullet time, let's go! <laughs> oh dang, it lasts for such a short duration. Oh my goodness. That is not fun at all. <laughs> Unlike the standard console games where the bullet time actually lasts for a very long time. So sadly to say I didn't do too well because, well, it is a Mario Kart game. Something happens and shit goes all loose. So hopefully we get enough points to get that 5 stars that we need to move on or at least perfect clear the stage. Uh, yeah, we do. So we just got enough. There we go. So basically you don't really have to replay the courses and oh so at the last part of the cup you always get some kind of tutorial and yeah so if you go further into the levels you can see that you require a lot of stars there's even timing uh, to take part on certain I guess events so Eventually, if you really, really want to make this as your main game, you probably have to keep playing non-stop. So yeah, um, so let's take a look at the tutorial. Bonus challenges. Try to clear the challenge using the chosen driver cart and glider combo. Passing through a ring gives you light speed boost. Yep. There we go. Oh, I forgot to tap. So let's drift all the way. Oh. Nice of them to put it at the edge of the track. <laughs> so, oh, we're gonna miss. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, we missed the item. So we could have used the mushroom to go onto the shortcut ramp. But you know, controls are hard to come or rather understand. Hey, there we go. So it, it does take some getting used to. Um, you know, to the controls of turning the cart. Like you see the two races that we've gone through and including this challenge stage, you can tell that I'm having problems just turning normally, um, drifting is no problem. So yeah, if you accidentally drift in the wrong direction, in order to recover from that, you have to let go and crash into the wall. <laughs> you, you just get back on onto your game normally. So yeah, this game is pretty harsh to those who don't really have um, skills with Mario Kart initially. So guys, uh, I guess you probably have to practice a lot, uh, be it the console game or the mobile game for Mario Kart to get really good at this um, because precision drifting is very important when it comes to the mobile version which is Mario Kart Tour that we are trying out now and yeah. Um, I would highly recommend you to go into manual control for this in terms of your steering. And of course, using your items, you just have to flick up if you want to toss the item in front, flick back to toss it behind. So pretty straightforward controls. It's just that, you know, handling the cart normally isn't exactly um, that easy. So yeah, guys, um, what do you guys think about Mario Kart Tour? Let me know in the comments down below. And as usual, thank you for watching this um, Let's Try review of Mario Kart Tour. Definitely a game to uh, enjoy casually, I suppose. You could play this on hardcore levels if you guys are big fans of the Mario Kart series. But for me, I'm just going to play this casually. I'm going to have fun with all the characters and of course um, the gacha as well. You know, because Pauline from Mario Odyssey is here. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, the taxi belongs to her. I, was, I thought it was like some kind of crossover with uh, Crazy Taxi. So yeah, uh, yeah, as usual guys, 
uh, let me know if you enjoy this video by hitting the like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and i'll see you guys in another video soon bye